Twitch. So my name is Walter Beiter. I'm a professor in hydrology and water resources based at um, Imperial College, uh, London. Uh, my research focuses on um, hydrology and how we apply hydrological process understanding to support uh, sustainable management of uh, water resources. I've got a specific interest in mountain environments, which um, uh, face a lot of different challenges, climate change, land degradation, and at the same time are really important for, for water supply. Um, and actually, it's a great pleasure to be back here because I uh, started my academic career looking at the, um, the water resources of the Andes here in Ecuador, even in Cuenca. Um, and since then, obviously, we've uh, moved to other regions as well, but uh, we still have a very keen interest in, in supporting the water management of the, the Paramo region and similar ecosystems here in the, uh, in the Andes Mountains. Yeah, I think for me, the, the Paramo, places like Cacas are really natural water towers, isn't it? They provide water of, of, of excellent quality, large volumes of water. Uh, so in that sense, it's, it's really a fantastic natural resource that, that humans, that people living here can, can, can use, uh, can benefit from. But I think at the same time, it gives the responsibility of of uh, managing that water and managing those ecosystems. They are vulnerable to global climate change and perhaps that's really hard to do something about. But at least we can start locally looking at how we can best preserve them, best manage them, protect them, to make sure that we don't uh, we don't uh, affect or, or, or uh, uh, reduce the, the amount of water and, and affect the quality of the resource. I think so far, at least from what I can, what I can gauge, um, there's a lot of effort that's put into safeguarding those those water supplies. I mean, the very fact that, that Cacas is a national park, I think, is is already a, a major advantage. And I think there's, there's an, uh, a great awareness, uh, not just here in Cuenca, but I think in, in Ecuador in general, about the importance of, of those regions for water supply, the, the, the fact that uh, water funds have been established. I think even the, the oldest water fund in the world, for like in, in Quito, is, is really a great example of, of, of a, a way to really manage those, those, those regions sustainably and, and safeguarding the, uh, the ecosystem services, not just water, but also biodiversity, landscape beauty and others uh, for, for the benefit of humankind. So I think there's, there's really some great success stories there in, in Ecuador that, uh, that, that can be told to the rest of the world.